Eyewitness Weather Forecast. Good evening. I hope you enjoyed the sunshine today. Not too bad for a winter day, right? I know it was a lot colder than yesterday, but hey, we'll take what we can get. Speaking of which, look at radar right now. It is nice and clear still. No precipitation quite yet, but if you were heading to Jim Thorpe today, it probably felt pretty wintry. Hopefully some of you enjoyed Winterfest, but right now Jim Thorpe and a lot of the other towns in the area are looking nice and clear. Speaking of which, hey, Lewisburg, your sunset looks great tonight. Hopefully you're enjoying that as well. Right now it's 35 in Lewisburg. It feels like 30. It's a bit breezy and it will be for the next 24 hours or so. And temperatures, yeah, like I said, a lot colder and they'll continue to be that way over the next few. Now look at this. This is the temperature change from this time yesterday to right now. 20 degrees lower in Mount Pocono, 19 in Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, 13 not quite as bad in Williamsport, but still I'm sure you're feeling the difference and you'll definitely feel it if you wake up very early in the morning tomorrow. Look at our lows. Most of us are in the teens. Just Allentown sitting at 21 toasty degrees. Now as for midday tomorrow, it's not quite as cold. It's actually going to be somewhat similar to today. We're looking at the mid 30s if you're heading to the Clark Summit Ice Festival. Well, you will want a jacket, but you won't need, you know, 12 layers. You won't be feeling like an icicle if you're headed out there. That being said, this is the big thing we're looking at for tomorrow. Snow showers starting in the late afternoon and early evening. So let's hop to it. I'll show you what's happening on Futurecast. This is 530 and at this point you can see some clouds kind of increasing in the region. You'll see that throughout the day too, increasing clouds. But just to our south, we're starting to see some of those snow showers. They increase as we get later into the evening. This is 830 here and look at there's just some bands of heavier snow within the lighter stuff and even a mix of sleet and freezing rain as well. So this is kind of all mixed in as warm and cold air filters through this system. When it comes down to it, we're not looking at anything too crazy out of this storm. It's actually quite small, but still as you head out Monday morning, you want to plan a little extra time for your commute because well, look, we do get some snow accumulating across the region. Most of us getting a coating to about two inches. Some spots again where we see some very small areas of heavy snow within those bands could get up to about three or four. So you get that, you get that freezing rain and it becomes a bit of a mess on the road. Again, just make sure you're taking your time Monday morning. Here's a recap tonight. We're in the teens. Most of us end up just below 20. We see a few clouds, but not too much other than that. Tomorrow snow showers start in the evening and continue overnight. We see that wintry mix work its way in there as well. Now the second storm we're looking at is early morning on Wednesday that lingers into Thursday and that's going to be a nice big mix of wintry weather as well. And that's another one we'll be watching out for, especially for you commuters. But download the eyewitness weather app. That way you're prepared for all of these storms and all the winter weather we get here in Northeast Pennsylvania. You know, I, I'm not looking forward to either of these. Unfortunately, no. not, you know, great skiing weather even no, with the I, snow, but I would like zero. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned about lingering into Thursday. It's a two day storm. It won't be the whole day Thursday, but it will hang around. We'll get some showers throughout the morning. Okay. So not right. terrible. No, thanks for the clarification.